in terms of whether we talk about the instrument or the mouthpiece that you use or equipment that you use um, how does that affect you continuing to grow as a musician and, and and continue playing and think about what you do as a player so uh, I don't like change <laughs> I'm somebody who doesn't like change and um, you think you're from either one you one camp you don't like change or you love change and you change all the time and um, I hate change so I still play on the same instrument now that I played when I was uh, 15 and I still play on the same mouthpiece that I had uh, that I was given when I my first year at university when I was 17 and it's a uh, Dennis Wick 3 um, and when I went to university before I changed the Dennis Rick 3 I played on Dennis Rick 5 so um so there's not real <laughs> and I played on a Dennis Rick 5 with a, a an imperial horn a little imperial when I was for, when I was growing up and then my parents bought me a sovereign and I was like wow it's amazing and I still play that combo with the exact same instrument the exact same mouthpiece that I just sort of every 10 years have got replated um and I just I just use it I absolutely love my mouthpiece it is like it's like a part of my body it's a body part um and <laughs> maybe not the right thing to say but it does it's just it's so comfortable for me um and i put that combination of that horn and that mouthpiece and i just feel so relaxed and so comfortable so it's 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 massively important because I have had experiences of, of doing different things. Um, and for me, it's always uh, come back. But the mouthpiece, I've never changed. The mouthpiece is, is, is so, so important. I've also spent a lot of time with people who change their mouthpieces all the time. And I'm always, wow, how do you do that and not freak out in here? I just, I just, I just can't do it. So, you know, with that and, and, and mutes as well, it's, you know, horn, horn players don't really use mutes that much especially in in the the brass band writing and solos and things but it's starting to to do to use a lot more um as uh, just to sort of change the timbres and the, and the colors and things um but it's not something not like a trombone player or a cornet player who using them all the time and you have basically a different mute for a different sound for everything don't you we kind of don't have that so yeah but but definitely my my Dennis Wick 3 is um oh i would i would literally i, I would to be so upset and panic if now if that mouth if something happened to that mouthpiece so i'd take great care of it and always uh, take it in to sort of be, be checked and and, and things because it's just so so important to me i was going to say what would happen if you know you left your instrument case on a train or something uh, I mean... i'd probably give up <laughs> i actually it would be for me it would be the sign to say right that's it it's time to stop <laughs> 